This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're going to drink some North Coast Brewing Brother Thelonious Belgian Style Abbey Ale. It is a Belgian dark ale. The Thelonious is for the jazz pianist Thelonious Monk, and they do, do donate some of the proceeds to the, what is it, the American Supporting Jazz Education. So, uh, Belgian dark ales are kind of a little bit all over the place, they're a bit of a catchphrase. The only other North Coast brewing I've ever done is the Old Rasputin, which was a great Imperial Stout. So I have high hopes for this one. Um, like I said, it's not really a well-defined style, so it can be a little bit of everything. Let's go ahead and give it a crack and see what we got. I am using a goblet today. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends, and go ahead and leave some comments. We always like to have nice comments. We can have a lot of fun. It is, uh, what do I have to say? I looked it up. It's 9.7 or 9.3 ABV. It's a high ABV beer. Dark uh, Belgian darks tend to be fit more malty than hoppy. We have a uh, dark brown or even maybe a ruby red and a very very brown head on it with a fair amount of well big frothy bubbles actually is what I'm trying to say and we're getting a little bit of alcohol lacing on it now as it goes ahead and dissipates you do smell the alcohol and it definitely has a Belgian yeast in it I'm getting that bubblegum banana I say bubblegum And then like a dark fruit. I want to almost say like a raisin. And then a hint of caramel. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. It pretty much is true to the aroma. I mean, I got bubble gum, I got caramel. I got a little bit of toffee malt. You get quite a bit of um, like a coating on the tongue. It coats the tongue. It's very, um, the mouthfeel is very mellow if that's a word. Rather than that bite you get sometimes from IPAs and lagers, it's a very luxurious mouthfeel. So yeah, you, you end up, you start with a, 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 like a bubblegum flavor. Not, and it's not a bad thing. Then you go into like a coffee, I'm not a coffee, I'm sorry, a toffee or a caramel. And it ends with that raisin that I was talking about earlier. So it's very, very true to the aroma. What you smell is what you taste. Um, not, I'm not, I don't taste alcohol. It's not really warming at all. It's totally different from the lagers and the IPAs that I've usually been drinking. It's very, very, very good. It's very mellow. I would say it's a sipping beer. It's not a drinking beer. It's not something that you would want to watch a game with. Or I think it's something that, at, actually, I think after a dinner, this would be a great dessert beer. You just want to sip it. Um, it's better a little bit warm. I've actually let this warm up fairly, a, fairly, a fair amount. So it's fairly warm, much a little bit, probably 10 degrees warmer than most of the beers I drink. So just a little bit below room temperature. Yeah, solid, solid beer. Not for everybody. If you're really into crisp and refreshing, this is just the opposite. This is mellow and sipping. So I'm going to give it a, an 82 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.